I've never seen Faro Airport so quiet as this. It's a central travel only at the moment, so as I'm over to visit my mum, and fortunately fishing opens up tomorrow. I'm over here fishing in Portugal. It's been uh, three months now since I was last fishing. Uh, since I left, fishing has been locked down here, which has been really tough, I think, on the people because fishing is a big way of their life here. A uh, big way of life, yeah. So um, it's been tough. So today is the first day that it's opened again. So I'm guessing I'm going to bump into a few other fishermen around because generally when I'm over here, I don't see many people. But um, I think <laughs> everybody wanted to go out on the first day's fishing. So uh, yeah, let's see what it's like. So I'm looking forward to getting out there. Wow, just stuck on this little tweak bait. It's a slow sink. The waves are really small, not much power. The swell's sort of going down. I haven't had as much chance to use them as I've liked over the last couple of trips because of the wind, really, and the, and the rough waves. It's been really big or really windy, you need something that holds even better in the water. You use a fining swell like this, but when it starts getting really strong, then I've either had to use a medium sink or even the fast sink, so I can keep fishing. And I think on these less windy days, the small swells are ideal. Okay, look at that. Little bass on the slow sink tweet. Well, my last three fish were double figures, and this is uh, double centimeters. It's nice to see it working. A little fish like that took it. Flipping heck, they are so aggressive. Well, that's definitely one of the smallest bass I've ever caught, I think. It saves me from a blank, that's for sure. Always good. It's another bass, another little one. <laughs> uh, this slow thing's doing well, but unfortunately, there's only small bass about. That little one, a bit bigger. Doing well, it's working well. So, tiny little bass there, but it's nice to see this slow sink working, this slow sink tweak. Yes, it's good in these kind of conditions when it's not too big and uh, not too windy. It's really nice to be in Portugal at this time of the year in the spring. It's a kind of time of the year when the winds can be can be dropping, can get still days like this, so we can actually hear the birds. <laughs> so um, yeah, last trips I've been over from the summer onwards have had some horrendous winds really. And so I've been testing out some of the newer lures on the Samson range. And uh, so with the conditions, I really got a good opportunity to test the tweak baits, the uh, fasting tweaks, which um, sometimes are the only lure I could use on some of the windy days because the rest were just being blown out of the water. And you could like even stick on an 80 gram lure and fish it and I could, you know, could get into some fish. And that was working ideal, especially off of the ledges. And it's got a really nice action when you bring it in at a medium to fast speed. Now, I did actually even pick some up in shallower grounds with, um, you know, just keeping it just under the surface. But I really wanted to test a little bit more, so the slow sink tweak. Um, I won't go into too much detail about the difference between the, uh, the different tweaks. Obviously, the slow sink is um, one that you're generally going to be retrieving slower. Um, over shallow ground, um, perhaps early mornings, evenings, and uh, nighttime fishing. But uh, it's got a lovely action. But they're they're all good for their different situations. But I actually made a video about this, and it's on the Samson Fishing YouTube channel. I'm going to leave a link here. Um, that you can have a look over there if you actually want to learn how to use any of these lures. I've got instructional videos on all the lures which will help a little bit in what situations you, you want to use them in and um, how, to, how to get the best out of them. I'm also going to be using this week um, uh, the Glide, the Glide and the Bomb. Um, I really like these lures and just getting into using them really, this is the first year I've really been using them and um, they both cast really well 
Um, the downside I would say of the Glide is it won't cast as well as the Bomb if it's windy. So I'm hoping I've got a few calmer days like, like this so I can really use them. Um, so it does cast well if it's, you know, if the wind's not up. Um, but it is a pretty versatile lure so you can work it slowly. Um, you can work it fast as well if you like. Again, there's a video on that. Um, but I, I tend to like it when I'm using a slow retrieve which is at early mornings, um, evenings, before the sun goes down, or if I was fishing at night, which I don't do a lot of nighttime fishing. I might do one night while I'm here, but I'm also over here to visit family. So um, yeah, so I'm normally gonna stick to the, you know, morning sessions or evening sessions. So the, yeah, so the bomb, that casts really well, whether it's um, windy, calm, whatever, it just, you know, it's a fairly one dimensional lure really, but it's good at what it does. So it's, it's really about like getting it out the back or covering some distance. So, you know, long casting isn't just about casting out to sea. You can be, you know, you could be in a place where you want to cast along the waves, a long distance. You can cover a lot of ground that way. So um, yeah, so long distance casting for me is important in certain situations and um, it's ideal when you've got kind of like the smaller shapes like the 21 gram. So if the conditions are calmer, I'll be able to use that one for sure. And um, yeah, the little tweaks, these the little, this is a 10 gram one. Um, we've got them like that size also in 15 gram, the medium sink, that's a little slow sink that one. Okay, so it's a morning session. It's a lovely morning, no wind, not a breeze, but it is really, really flat. It's a, almost as small as it gets out here. So um, yeah, so I'm gonna see how it goes. Normally you need a bit of swell out on this west coast, but I'm gonna give it a go. So I've put on a big glide because I need to get a bit of distance here. Okay, that's gone out a mile. Look at that. Summit out there, I don't know if that was birds or uh, I saw some splashing. So I've got it right over some rocks and it's deep either side of those rocks. get it around these rocks. Look at it. Is it a bass? It jumped right out. Alright, so I've got it over these rocks. Just about getting it over, yeah. Okay. Whew. Not a bass. Looks like a bluefish to me. Yeah, bluefish. So a little bluefish there. Not a bad one. Okay, he was hooked with both hooks there. Got to be really careful with these bluefish. They really flash around, so I'm not going to hold him long. So yeah, so I haven't had one of these for a long while on the west coast. I used to get some really big ones here, like 15 pounders. But uh, they went away, but hopefully they're coming back. I've heard there's a lot of smaller ones coming back like this, so could be a good sign for the future, I hope. That looks like a fishing rod down there. Fishing rod and like the things for scraping off the saves there. Anyway, I'm gonna leave it up here. because There's some guys up there and they might have more chance of knowing whose, whose it could be. So they'll be coming back soon, so we'll stick it up here. Well, it was a fun little session this morning. Um, it started off, it was pretty calm conditions, um, no wind, and yeah, it was really nice and peaceful fishing, actually. Um, I got into a bluefish, which was a surprise, actually, when it jumped out of the water, because I haven't hit a bluefish here for uh, over 20 years, I think. I've had some in, you know, off of Portugal Islands, 
and um, over in the USA on my last trip I had a lot of really big ones but um, yeah they just seem to disappear from here you know over 20 years ago I used to catch a lot of them and really big ones so um, yeah I've heard that people are catching some smaller ones here and there so that's a good sign anyway but the swells have gone right down now so um, it generally doesn't get this flat and it does need a little bit of a stir up to be honest so um, I'm hoping we get a little bit more swell but not too much it's always getting the balance okay small conditions tonight it's uh, hardly any swell but it's nice on shore so I still think you know it's nice conditions um, I'm using some 20 pound braid with a new knot tonight uh, a toit knot it's called um, named after the guy Warren Toit Warren de Toit and uh, yes in the test he's done it's uh, turned out very strong against up against most of the other knots so uh, yeah, it's worth giving it a go so I've tied it and it seems very nice and neat and tidy so I've also got um, Bimini twist before that to uh, strengthen the main part of the line so let's see how it goes so I'm just starting off with this 10 gram slow sink tweet which I've I don't think I've used before like actually fishing I've used it just at the lake testing it it is a little bit windy we we'll see how it goes with it. Definitely going to be better in lighter conditions, but it seems all right. Yeah, it's gone out pretty good for a 10 gram. Oh, don't we have a go at it then? Definitely. Shit. Big splash around it. Down. We'll give it another shot. That's the first time I've actually used this um, lure, as far as I know, in actual big part months. Oh, it's off. Don't believe it. Something was on, but what happened? Something had a nibble again. Okay, just suck him back. Not bad. Okay, that's a nice start. First time using the slow sink tweak that was. I mean, I've used it on the lake testing, but first time actually fishing, so yeah, it was nice to catch on it. It's not a lure I think I yeah, have the conditions to use a lot with the wind and that but um, it's quite calm. I think for calm days and when it's small, it'd be ideal. Now it's gonna bring it slowly over these little rocks here. Come on again. It's good. I don't go around that rock. Okay, so another schoolie there. Bring him in with the waves. Okay, a smaller one on the 10 gram. Um, yeah, great, good to see it working. I've got a little bomb on now, 21 gram. It's pretty shallow there. I'm just going to work it along the surface. Okay, come on. It's only a little schoolie. Look at that. I'm going to get him off now. About getting a hook in me. Or a spike. Got that up pretty good. Go that way. Well, when I went away on this trip, I told my wife I didn't have any birds in the house. I don't know what my wife's going to say when she now hears I had two birds in the house. <laughs> Come on, guys, get out. Don't, no droppings, please. Come on down. 
Yes, got it. Okay, so unusual conditions as well. It's a real west swell. So it's nice and overcast. It's not the perfect swell, it's kind of got lots of gaps. It's coming from, a, from some way away. I prefer a more constant swell, but still, it looks lovely conditions. Come on. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not sure if I've got that one off me on. I missed that, but anyway, we'll hook that on the Tyson Minnow. I know this spot really well. I know it's slippery. <laughs> steel and slip. Oh, be so careful if you're in the middle of nowhere. I'm going to start off with this chartreuse. Starting off with this chartreuse while it's early. Beautiful water colour. bass saw him just before he hit it he's coming this way now Nice bass there. It's really windy up here. We've got a strong southeasterly, and it's really catching it out on this point. But um, yeah, I just saw this one. I put on the chartreuse because it's a bit overcast. Chartreuse with a white belly. Just saw this one shoot out from behind the rocks. I uh, don't know if I got it on the camera. I might have blown over before, but I only got it on my chest camera. Anyway, happy with that. A nice morning's fishing today, uh, absolutely knackered, a lot of walking today, but I did, I did manage to get a couple of nice bass, so made it all worth it, so it's lovely to be out. It was a bit blowy, uh, when you get a southeasterly in Portugal blowing, the west coast can be really strong wind, um, can be a lot worse, but it was definitely fishable, so yeah, I was pleased just to get out and get into a couple of fish. Um, I was using a new new knot I was trying today, which is called the toy knot, and uh, looks very neat. Um, so I'll put a link in to uh, to the website of this guy. He tests knots and their strength. He spends a lot of time and uh, you know testing. He's got all the equipment for testing them, and it's well worth looking if you're interested in um, looking at the strength of some of these knots. It certainly made me think again about a few of the knots I've used. Um, but yeah, so today the setup I was using 20 pound line with a bimini twist and a toit knot to, um, you know, to connect to my leader. So yeah, so it was all good, no dramas there, so it seemed to work well. So yeah, look forward to seeing how it goes when I get a few bigger fish. Okay, I'm on with a bass. Yeah, it's a good one. Double figure, that's for sure. 